You're very welcome back to the show now. From humble beginnings to working in London and Paris Fashion Week, my next guest is one of Northern Ireland's leading makeup artists and has trained with some of the top makeup houses from MAC to NARS. And he's won several awards, including European Makeup Artist of the Year and worked with a number of famous faces, from Misha Barden to the Saturdays to Yasmin Nabal. Now, he's here today to tell us about his journey to where he is now. You're very welcome, Paddy McGargan. Thank, Thank you so much, you so for, much for having me. Why did you decide to be a makeup artist in the first place? Because from a fellow from Armagh, it's not exactly the first choice for a job. No, it's not, especially as a, as a farmer's son exactly. as well. You so, know. What did your dad make of that? <laughs> there isn't that much opportunity or careers of conventions weren't structured around could you be a makeup artist? <laughs> <laughs> you know, so and I was lucky that it found me in a sense. Yeah. I moved to Belfast, I initially studied music and during that time I got a retail job as uh, just as a cashier to start off with. No makeup background, no idea, nearly turned the job down because I was very conscious of being a male on a counter, but that's exactly what they wanted. Kind of shake things up a bit. I took on the job and I instantly fell in love with it. And how did you know you had the flair and the talent for it? Did you, did, is this something you kind of, mm, this is interesting or I will try a bit of that? Or like, how did the actual training go? Like, how did you get into that whole path? Well, uh, the first thing, I think that was the longest Christmas in history that those poor colleagues had to endure because every day, what's that in your eyes? What's that combination? Which ones did you use and how did you do? They're like, as if retail isn't bad enough. <laughs> We're dealing Christmas, with all these people. We have to deal with crazy in the corner asking us that questions every day. And they're like, when are we going on lunch? You know, so I kind of asked a lot of questions. I, I took, I could do art and music, they were very much my passion. So I took even cheap makeup and I sketched and I drew and I understood how to create shape with the tones of makeup. So I kind of helped myself at the beginning. Then I stayed and then started to get official training. Yeah. And then I moved then to uh, Space NK and I got lots of training from lots of different artists and lots of different styles. And I kind of cherry picked everything and kind of meshed it together to what I liked. And I held on to the creative side. I love the creating anything that's in your head and, and the artistic abilities and yeah. no limits. Yeah, and I, I, I love that, that you, you're very conscious of what you do as well and the influence mm. that makeup has on particularly young girls because I know we see the Instagram generation now, it's all about perfection. It's all about achieving the impossible. Yeah. But there's a dark, a dark side with that as well and I know you're, you're very conscious of this now, this month with uh, World Mental Health Month. You have an event next week. Yeah. And... How did you personally decide that that was a path you wanted to go down? I think it's something I've noticed over the years that has got increasingly worse. I mean, so many women from day dot have worn makeup as a way to empower themselves, to make themselves feel better, to get over whatever they feel is very uh, negative that when they look in the mirror. But it's got much worse, you know, with the social media platforms, with this filter that you can put over your life with all of those things, there's so much more pressure and I'm noticing it, I'm hearing conversations, people sitting in my chair are feeling this overwhelming sense of if they don't get enough likes on their picture that they post, if they don't look like their famous idol that they're looking at on social media, all of that just mounts into it and I think I felt I have a responsibility as a business owner, as someone who sells makeup, who's someone who sends out beautiful pictures. I work with photographers, I work with beautiful models, and yeah, we, we create campaigns. So I'm kind of part of that negative wheel, yeah. but I feel like you have to then, it's like anything, you have to find what's good about something and manage what's negative about yeah. something, and that's kind of where I felt. And I like this, you, you are more than your darkness. Yeah. T t tell me about that. It was quite personal. It was a, a, a very close friend of mine was actually in a really horrible position where she went away for a girls weekend. And unfortunately, during that weekend, um, one of the girls took her own life on the trip. Oh and she was in this position. And I happened then to look back at her Facebook um, because obviously it came up on, online. This has happened. I obviously was told first and my friend was so distraught. And she made a Facebook post about how she explained how she has good days and how darkness is, sometimes creeps up on her and um, how to, she needs to work on building her strength on those sad days, on those days that she feels bad about herself. And I, I don't know, I just got a vision when I seen that and I seen that as a silhouette. And I feel like we constantly play that devil's advocate with ourselves in so many different ways. And it's that two faces, that, that two selves, that two personalities that you constantly question, that inner yeah. thought, that inner emotion. 
all of that. And we see that image there. I mean, yeah, so really that's <laughs> kind of the final image that I find out that two cells, the side that you see on social media that we do, you know, we, we do, you know, applications to make people look beautiful and dramatic and glamorous. And, but then you also still, even with that, you don't know in that picture if that person's really yeah. where their mental health is yeah. at that time. It's your time. Instagram face. No. You can yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. You can be on social media and you yeah. can be curled up into a ball. We're just talking about later, you know, the detriment of Disney movies. And I mean, I think in, in our day and age, the dangers lie way more in social media way and more. Instagram. Sure. And, you yeah. know, in these polished pictures that, you know, young girls think that they should be. I think they're, it's highly dangerous. Yeah. And also, did you see the survey this week that showed that in Ireland we have the second highest rate of depression in Europe. Jeez. The highest rate of chronic it's depression as well, the chronic, in, which is long-term. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's absolutely yeah. frightening. Yeah. But, but, but I, I suppose when you think of it, we all have our dark days, and I, I, I suffer from depression myself, so I know exactly what, what you're on about when you look at the light in the dark, but it's something I think that isn't talked about enough, and I know the same in Northern Ireland, Southern Ireland. Absolutely. We don't have the treatment facilities available, we don't have anything. There's no, like, if you are in crisis in the morning, yeah. You have to go to an a and &E in a hospital along yeah. with people having heart attacks or broken legs or something like that. It's absolutely criminal when you think about it. Yeah. So um, I know next Wednesday you have a fundraiser. Yeah. Um, what are you doing up in your, your store in Belfast? In the source of fundraiser, so obviously the money's going to Action Mental Health is mm. one of the charities that we chose to support and to, to help in some form of funding. I suppose that the whole message behind this is how to be responsible with your makeup. Mm. And I feel like a responsibility on not morphing into someone else, but using makeup to feel more empowered, to feel funky, to feel, how do you feel today? Do you feel a bit sort of, you know, are you feeling a bit cheeky today? You feel, th those yeah. are really fun yeah. ways of being able to yeah. use that. Yeah. Um, expressing yourself, not plastering on the levels where you just, you don't, you're unrecognisable, you, like yeah. you know? Yeah. So I think that's kind of the main message that yeah, I want to work like with. I was having a, I needed red lipstick today, because yeah. don't wear red yeah. lipstick often. Because you know, it like, just gives you a bit of a pep if you're yeah. having a bit of a little day. Yeah. No, it's the little things like that. Don't start with me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm on a mission. Yeah, I'm telling you. But it is the little things, because even when the recession hit Ireland at the hardest, as we all know, the one thing that, that sales went up of in the country was lipstick. Yeah. Because you couldn't afford anything else, but by God, a nice bright lipstick would cheer you up anyway, and that's the Absolutely. way it worked. Mm. Yeah. Um, now, you're just back from India, which is terribly exciting. Yes. What, what were you doing trip. over there? I was over with a uh, makeup studio, with, and they took me over to do a big show over there. And um, we th then I was working in one of the academies over there, teaching a lot of the UK style of makeup. So it was kind of... What's UK style now? What's well, Irish style? Because I've heard, I have it on good authority from makeup artists that have travelled to this country that we, we go a bit OTT on our eyebrows here. Do you well, feel that? I feel we're coming back a little bit. <laughs> so we're coming away from it and kind of working with strong shapes. And yeah, yeah but we like a brow. Like a we brow. like a good I brow. We like a good yeah. brow. Yeah. So what is that? Like, do, do different areas have different styles? Could you like walk and go, well, that's a Belfast girl, that's a London girl by looking at the style or is it? You do. You, you have you sort of, <laughs> yeah, you have different <laughs> main, main trends. I mean, yeah. whilst there's lots of different things. So they kind of wanted that really, I suppose that really strong Instagram style. Uh, they wanted to be taught that. Um, I also specialise a lot in creative makeup, so they wanted to see something really a little bit more funky and creative and, and that side of it as well. So they wanted to really focus on that. And the show itself was a great celebration of all different diverse sort of um, bridal styles, even within the show. It was bridal styles from all the different regions in India. Yeah. I learned something. Which is amazing. Yeah. Because, you know, I, I thought it was amazing. I just thought, you know, you know, Asian bridal is one thing, almost, yeah. so it's very bold. And he taught me a lot as well, even being there and seeing, wow, that's so distinguishable in each area. And but, Paddy, what about dealing with Indian skin? Was that a bit of a challenge for it you? It was, actually, yeah. because, I mean, whilst we're becoming more culturally diverse with um, people over here, we also find that we have to really... Um, I, I, there were so many different skin tones I'd never worked on before, so it was brilliant. I know they want to be really pale, where we're the opposite. We want to be and we're, really and we're dark. Going ourselves yeah, wrong yeah. Going on. that is a whole ridiculous yeah. situation. You know, when I ran the hotel in India, our guests were predominantly white people, yeah. but all the staff were local Indians. Yeah. You know, and they couldn't understand it. Why do they want to sit in that sun and get brown? <laughs> yeah. You know? And they would then sometimes put on powder on their faces, the women, the Indian women. Oh, yeah. And it would be pale. pinky. Yeah. Oh, wow. It's cream have... to make it whiter as well. That's one of the highest yeah. selling beauty products in yeah. India, is a thing called Fair and Beauty. It's a moisturiser. It bleaches it's your skin, a bleach. basically. Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah. I mean, the, it's a crazy world. India, it? I think, it has the, the, the highest count of Miss Worlds, doesn't it? 
is it in, is it is India, it? I think? Yeah, Do you know, Miss God, Wilder, you're Miss bringing Universe, me I think back so, in yeah. time. I interviewed a former Miss Wilde who was Indian way, way back at the start of my time in RTE. There you go. Rita, yeah. somebody. Wow. Yeah. There you go. There that was you go. Apart from being exotic and travelling all over the world doing what you do, like you, you said you love the creative side of things as well. So yeah. what kind of creative looks do you... Are we talking about full-on dramatic... <clears throat> We're talking Amazing. about, imagine if you could create a character, any character that you want. To me, it has yeah. a backstory, and this person is maybe, I don't know, I create this world of imagination and my kind favorite, of bring it tight. My favourite things are unicorns. <laughs> I have a tattoo of a unicorn. You can do unicorns. <laughs> Would you like to be turned into a I unicorn? Love to be a unicorn. <laughs> I mean, look at that! That's it's amazing! Idiot. Did you do that? Wow! I, I, yeah. I just, that's, I mean, but what? to have that absolute, like, what that products is. go into that? Because I'm obsessed with makeup myself. So, I mean, like, well, sometimes, sometimes I, do you know, the less is more, because I'd, I'd say to, to do any look, we, we, we're desperate, we layer the foundations, we layer the contour, we layer the three different kinds of concealer, you've your highlighters or everything else, and literally, if you bang in the back of my head, <laughs> I come from Ockham and But there's technique in that, where the training there comes is. in, to do the more dramatic looks like this, and the more, like, beautiful, subtle looks that yeah. I'm perhaps not yeah. so good at doing. You <laughs> have to be a different artist for each job you yeah. work. So if I'm doing editorial, I have to be that artist, I have to pull everything right back, I have to, you know, sometimes I don't put mascara on, sometimes I'll do very little, I'll brush the brows. Those those girls are so beautiful to yeah. begin with. Mm. You know, Dying it's them. about celebrating maybe the clothing, maybe the whatever the, whatever that campaign is representing. Then you have customers coming in who are on a hot date, who are maybe have at chocolate all week and they want contoured like a greyhound. You know? <laughs> 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 so you have to be oh, that artist as well. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, that's that's you my next <laughs> Because I went in a couple of years ago. It was actually my, my 40th birthday and I went into makeup forever to get my makeup done before I went out home. And, and I was like, right, contour. Loads of contour. I need cheekbones and I need to get rid of my chin. And she said, you say as you eat your birthday cake. <laughs> 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 but listen, if Boy, jo Boy George can have no chin, anyone can do the, you can do miraculous things with makeup. makeup. Yeah, he does. He does. Yeah. Wow. Well, yeah, you can, you can do wonderful, wonderful You just wonderful have to be careful how you move. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like geisha influences as you move. <laughs> <laughs> I know, you have to go back. Uh, and come here, Aunt, you've got your, your store up in Belfast. Any, ch do. any chance of moving, Ooh, oh, opening one down here? Oh, there could be underway, but yeah, well, hopefully at some stage. We know we have a lot of support yeah. uh, from Dublin and all over the south of um, Ireland, and we know that we get constantly requested to hopefully be able to bring that big up there. And I could I could be a unicorn as often as I want to. Every and Saturday night. Oh. You You'll can have a unicorn that, <laughs> dinner party. You will regret that. Come here. Actually, that sounds really bad. There's some more. Anyway, other oh, definitions of unicorn out there that we shall not go into. Come here to me. Thank you so Thanks much for, for coming on the show today. It's been an absolute pleasure. Best of luck Thank on you. the 25th on your event. And if anyone's up in yep. Belfast, do pop in because it's such an amazing cause. Anyway, time for a quick break. So we've plenty more to come on the show. Don't go anywhere.